NorQuest's 17th Annual Canada Day Celebration. My name is Don Bell from CBC News Edmonton. In just four days, Canada will be celebrating its 147th birthday, and for a lot of you, it will be your first Canada Day. And we are here to celebrate all that we have in common as Canadians, and take a moment to reflect on all the good things this country provides for us. We have really amazing opportunities here to reach our dreams. Celebrating Canada Day at West Mount Campus is an annual tradition at Northwest College, and we're happy to have many friends and supporters of the college joining us today. And I will ask them to please stand as they are introduced. So we'll start with our stage party. First of all, the MP for Vegreville Wainwright, the Honorable Leon Benoit. For Edmonton Castle Downs, Thomas Lukasek. City of Edmonton Councillor Scott McKee. Very sharply dressed as well. And the chair of the Northwest College Board of Governors, Lynn Falter. Also the president and CEO of Northwest College, Dr. So to begin the program, I'm happy to invite the Quest Singers and instructor Kim Chaba Armstrong to come forward and lead us in the singing of O Canada. So let's everyone stand for our national anthem. Take pride in that. 
We cherish the values of freedom, rule of law, respect for human rights, and democracy. Canada is an amazing country with diversity in our beautiful landscapes, our heritage, and our innovation and hardworking people. It is with pride that we welcome those of you receiving citizenship certificates here today as new Canadians. Canada is a nation developed by immigrants. As new Canadians, you add to our diversity by sharing ideas and knowledge that enable Canada to remain a strong and respected country. You add a new strength and richness to our country that simply would not be here without you. My parents and grandparents helped build the amazing nation we share today, and you will help build a better Canada for your children and grandchildren, and I thank you in advance for that. Our government is committed to helping newcomers and their families succeed. Adult language instruction is but a small, although important, step in what I hope will be a lifetime of learning for each of you. Education has the power to make this city, our country, and the world a better place. It has been an important part of my life. In fact, it is a continuous process for me as it will be for you. I'm still learning every day through constant reading, technical briefings, political discussions, and daily with constituents and other Canadians amongst the brightest best in their field of expertise in the world. And I'm so delighted that I can do that. Okay, granted, many may question how much and how well I've learned, but uh, that's politics. I wish you all a happy Canada Day, celebrating traditions, values, and aspirations that unite us and shape this great nation. We are proud to be Canadians, and we should be. May God bless all of you in the months and years ahead. Now please welcome the MLA for Edmonton Castle Downs, Thomas Lukasik, a very busy man these days, who will bring greetings on behalf of the provincial government. Well, good morning, everybody, and thank you for having me over here, Madam President Abbott. Uh, it's good to be here, Madam Chair Judge Batia. This is uh, this is a uh, 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 that's right, a tradition for us. We meet over here every year. It must be at least my tenth uh, Canada Day celebration here with you at Northwest, Northwest College, and I have to tell you, I always look forward to this event because there aren't many places. Uh, that you can uh, go to on Canada Day or close to Canada Day and see that many people from all over the world all sitting in one room and celebrating Canada Day. And the reason this is so special to me is because when I look at you, I go back in my memory of 32 years now when I was one of you 32 years ago when I arrived in Canada uh, from Poland, uh, not speaking a word of English and, uh, and really looking forward to becoming, uh, becoming a Canadian. And I know uh, that my parents also went uh, to a uh, college, it wasn't called Northwest College then, it was called Alberta Vocational College, but nonetheless it was the same school. And our beginning actually started right here uh, because of the work that is being done. So uh, it, I feel uh, very privileged to be able to now stand in front of you uh, in this capacity. So how many of you are in Canada less than one year? Less than one year. Isn't this amazing? Isn't this amazing? Well, welcome to all of you. Uh, you have. You know, Canada is a phenomenal, phenomenal country uh, that gives us uh, that gives us opportunities that no other place in the world ever would. And uh, many of us were not fortunate enough to be born over here, but we made Canada our home, our home of choice. And the fact is that uh, for that welcoming that we are receiving in Canada, and for the opportunities that will be unfolding in front of you, uh, we also have to give something back in return. So I would encourage you. To celebrate Canada Day every day by volunteering, by being active in your community, and by giving back to your community every day, and maybe by welcoming another family to Canada next year that will arrive here and uh, will be experiencing the same uh, uh, the same uh, ups and downs of being a new immigrant 
uh, in the years to come. So on behalf of our Premier uh, David Hancock and everybody in the Alberta Legislature, to those of you who are new, welcome to your first Canada Day. For those of you who have been here for a while, thank you for everything that you bring to us and make our country and our province so much better. Thank you and welcome. Now please welcome Edmonton City Councilor Scott McKean, who will bring greetings on behalf of oh. Senate City Council, I can tell you it is a real privilege for me to be here today. Thomas was mentioning this is his tenth, this is my first. Um, I was just elected to City Council last October, and it is a challenging job at times, but then I get to do things like this, and I think what a privilege it is. And you know, I, I wanted to say that the uh, choir was fabulous. It was one of the most beautiful renditions of O Canada I've ever heard. And standing behind me, I was lip syncing because I could have thrown off that whole choir if I started singing. So I, I, I made sure to stay quiet. You know, around the world, Canada is considered a country of freedom and opportunity, a place where people of all cultures and religions can make their own. And here in Edmonton, you really want to be seen as a welcoming city for people from all over the world. Our city is already home to many different cultures and heritage, and we are simply stronger for it. For it sorry. Some of you are celebrating Canada Day for the first time, and I, I'm so thrilled to welcome you and wish you a happy first Canada Day. I'd also like to give my compliments to all the students attending today's celebration. It's not easy to move to a new country, learn a different language, and start a whole new life in a different place, with different customs. It's also a huge amount of effort to go to school while you're working. But all of you know education is the key to better jobs and a better future for you and your family. I commend you for having the courage, the courage to work hard, to learn something new, and work towards your goals. I'd also like to thank Norquest and everyone involved in organizing this terrific event. Norquest has helped many students, many, many students, become more connected to our city further their studies. It's important people be able to connect with others and find meaningful work in our city. Edmonton is one of the fastest growing cities in Canada, and we have one of the fastest growing job rates. We need a highly skilled, diverse workforce. We really need people like all of you here today with energy and enthusiasm unique perspectives, and beautiful singing voices, I might add, too. We need you to share your ideas, talents, and skills with our city. Your contributions will help make Edmonton a better place for all of us. Thank you all so much, and happy Canada. Scott McKean, and now it is time to welcome Lynn Falder, the chair of the Northwest College Board of Governors, to speak on behalf of the Done. Happy Canada Day. Yes, it is something to celebrate. I find it very interesting uh, to be in this unique position, uh, from my point of view, to be celebrating Canada Day with you. I'll tell you a little bit about my history. Uh, one branch of my family, my mom's side, my grandmother's side, uh, I am the 15th generation of Canadian here in Canada. So over 350 years, um, I can trace back uh, our immigrations to Canada. Uh, other parts of my family are a little newer. But the great thing about celebrating Canada Day at Northwest is it really does remind me what really matters, uh, what truly, really, truly matters. 
Uh, it's easy to talk about the big concepts about um, values and democracy, uh, but I've learned so much from our students, students who have come here to make a better life. Uh, and for them, they, they tell me things like, they come to Canada and there's water flowing from the tap, and not just water flowing from the tap, hot or cold. <laughs> the choices that are just available to them, uh, things that someone like me might very easily overlook and take for granted. I know you have some very special thoughts about Canada, and I want to hear some. Somebody can share with me what Canada means about them, to them? Come on, there's got to be one volunteer out there. Who's prepared to share with Canada? Yes, please. Perfect, thank you. I won't keep you much longer. I just hope everyone enjoys the festivities a little later. We're going to have a barbecue and happy Canada Day to all. Well, now we move on to the Judge Matthew Citizenship Awards and Northwich, uh, Northwest College President and CEO Dr. Jody Abbott will now introduce Judge Batia and present the awards. Thank you. What a beautiful ocean of red and white up there. You guys look fantastic. You look like Canada. Are you proud to be here? I am. you were here last year. Okay, so a few of you heard that I'm trying to learn Spanish. And it's very difficult. So, and I think you know that because you're learning English. I am totally amazed that not only do you speak English, many of you came with very little English, but you sing English. 
you are amazing. You are going to help our country grow and continue to be successful. We're very, very to have you here in Edmonton and at Northwest. Thank you for choosing Northwest. It is now my pleasure to introduce a very special guest. Judge Gertrand Singh Gacha is a very cherished friend of Northwest College. And he has been at our Canada Day celebrations for many years. He's been a strong, strong advocate for human rights in the Edmonton area and across Canada. And he is a person that I've learned you never say no to because he somehow turns those two letters N O into Y E S. Yes. And that's a good thing because he's an incredibly persistent, persistent, and passionate, passionate man. Judge Bacha came to Canada in 1964 from India. Now retired, he spent six years as a citizenship judge in the Court of Canadian Citizenship. And I had the opportunity to attend a ceremony with him. And what is incredible is he had something special to say to absolutely every recipient. He's a very active community member, and he's an excellent role model for Northwest College's vision for lifelong learning. Every year, five students who are newcomers to Canada receive the Judge Bacha Citizenship Award. Award recipients are leaders who are helpful to classmates, courteous, and hardworking. They demonstrate the great qualities of being a Canadian citizen. We are very happy to have Judge Bacha with us today for another Canada Day celebration. Judge Abacha, could you please join us on the stage? sponsoring these awards. This is the 11th year that we have been able to present the Judge Bacha Citizenship Awards. Thank you, Judge Bacha. Your ongoing support of the awards makes an incredible difference to the lives of our students. Students, I will now read a short description of why you were chosen for the award. When I call on you, please join us on the stage to accept your award and pose for a photograph. Our first recipient of the Judge Bacha Citizenship Award is Justin Eugenisa. Oh. always a pleasure to talk to. He keeps a positive attitude and enjoys helping classmates and challenging them to ex extend their knowledge. Justin? He has gained the respect of others 
which carries with him humility. Jack, we are very proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you everyone and enjoy this celebration. 